Welcome to Ahkam SOS, the show that discusses Islamic duties and practices by His Eminence, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi. May Allah prolong his life. I'm your host, Mohsin Shah, and joining me is Sheikh Ali Ma'as. Salaamu alaykum, Sheikh Ma'as. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Sheikh Ma'as, we've been discussing doubts um, in, in Salah, and we've been discussing, um, you know, uh, what happens if you do not know what raqa you're in, and also we're discussing you know, if you have passed certain stages of the Salah, do you refer back to the doubt or not? Or do you carry on we'll be discussing many of these? Uh, what I wanted to ask you was, is that if one aborts the Salah and then he prays his second Salah, he repeats it, is the, the second one, is that valid or not? أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآله محمد if the musalli um, develops one of the doubts which are valid and correct doubts, he must not abort the salah. You're not allowed to abort uh, the salah just because there's a doubt. And I've seen this sadly, you know, but some people would uh, ignorantly they do the salah batil or abort it, and then you pray again. We're not allowed to do such thing. But let's say if somebody aborts the salah and makes a batil, and he, he prays the second salah again, because the first one he made a batil, he turned his face um, back of the qibla and made the salah batil, he, he began to talk, let's say. In this case, the second salah that that, that, that person prays, the second salah is valid and, and, and correct. There's no issue with it. Yes. But the one should avoid making the salah batil and abort. Yes. It's not right and it's not permissible. I guess it's to do with the akhlaq of the salah. It's, 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 you know, it's not deemed to be really appropriate to be in such. Sheikhna, I'm in my first or second raqa. I'm reciting the second surah. And now I have start to have doubts about surah alhamd. Did I recite it properly? Did I make a mistake in it? What should I do in that situation? Should I stop? Start with Surah Alhamd again and go into my second Surah or do I have permission to continue? If you are in position in which you haven't read anything, you haven't done, you haven't moved from one position to another and you are silent, let's say, for, for two seconds, then you have to read the Hamd again or to read the Surah again. But if you have moved from one stage to another, you moved from the Surah and Qira'ah of, of the uh, Hamd to Ruku'ah, that's it. You just ignore the shak, ignore the doubt, and you move on, you carry on uh, praying the rest of the acts of Salah. So uh, you shouldn't be paying attention to uh, this doubt. What about if I have doubts in my Tashahud before I've read the Taslim? Should I repeat my Tashahud or should I carry on? Again, if you haven't read anything, you haven't read the Taslim, you haven't moved to another stage of the Salah. If you haven't read anything, then you have to re-read re the Tashahud. Read it again, and then the Taslim and end the Salah. But if you have passed the stage, and you've read the Taslim, and you're on the last, let's say, part of the Taslim, then خلاص, you just ignore it. And as I've said, the basis of Tajawuz al-Mahal, uh, al you've Past this stage yeah. and, and, and exceeded the, the, the limit. What about if there's doubt in the taslim before the taqibat? In the taslim, I have doubt. I'm still in the same position. I haven't moved. Am I allowed to uh, continue and finish the salah, or should I repeat the salah, uh, the salah, the taslim? Well, because the, the last segment and part of salah is taslim, and you're still. Uh, sitting, um, stand still, you're not sure if you have done it or you haven't done it. And there's nothing after it, you know, basically you are still in the Salah. In this case, you have to perform the Taslim again and then end the Salah and خلاص, you just exit the Salah by saying Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh, that's it. It's all uh, done. Shaykhna, 
why should someone um, continue with a valid doubt? Wouldn't it be better to have, you know, just to break the salah, abort the salah, and start fresh, brand new? If I'm, if I'm debating whether this is my second or third raqah, or my third or fourth raqah, isn't it better to abort the salah, start again? As mentioned previously that uh, there are doubts in which you can break your salah and, and make them void and bottle. Let's say check between doubt between first and second raka'ah. Uh, but in other cases, when you have valid uh, doubt in which you can uh, cure it or, or, or solve it in somehow, you cannot break and, and make it bottle. And the uh, main, main issue of, of this uh, case is that many people don't have the knowledge you know, jahl or ignorant in the ahkam of the salah causes the one to break a salah. And that's not accepted. We must learn the hukum of, of shak or, and doubt in the salah. Uh, and other hukum, not only the salah. In fasting, for example, what makes uh, fasting uh, void and what act breaks the, salah, the, the fast, for example, and salah likewise. So it mainly goes back to not knowing these ahkam. But because if I know um, the hukum, you know, what to do, then I won't break my salah. I want to make the salah batil. So we have to make sure that uh, we read this risala amaliya of the marja that I follow, just to read the main um, causes of, let's say, that invalids the salah or the, uh, the ones in which I can cure and unsolve in the salah to avoid you know instead of getting the reward I get now the last sin by such acts so I, I make sure that I enter into salah and finish the salah and I know what to do in such cases Ahsan Shaykhna you said that instead of aborting the salah you know the, uh, what you have to do is perform the ihtiyat salah the, the one raqa how does one actually perform that properly? Initially, when um, you follow the procedure of the doubts and you try to solve the issue of the doubts, let's say between three and four, rak'a, you're not sure, you have doubts, and you, are, you base your intention on the fourth that you've prayed for rak'a. When you finish the fourth rak'a, let's say, uh, which you don't know, you're not, you're not sure about, uh, you stand up straight away after the salam. You say Allahu Akbar with the intention of what? Of Salatul Ihtiyat. You say Allahu Akbar. You read Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and the Hamd only, no surah. And you read them both, the Bismillah and the Hamd surah, uh, um, silently. And then you do the ruku' and two sajda and, and tashahud taslim and that's it. You've so it's like your fourth. The way you exactly, exactly. The but you don't read Tasbihat al Arba'ah. You okay, read Al Hamd. Okay. Surah Al Hamd with the Bismillah all silently. As you've read yes. uh, the third and fourth rak'ah silently, you do the same thing. It just recovers uh, possible missed rak'ah yes. in the third or fourth. You make it up just in case. Exactly. And no Tasbih. Uh, no, no. No Tasbih. It's just, uh, just uh, Al Hamd. Without even short Surah like Tawheed or yes. Kawthar and so forth. Yes. Mashallah. Thank you very much, Sheikh and thank you to all the viewers for joining us on Ehkam SOS. Inshallah, we'll have more discussions on Salah next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.